gathered friends, welcome to Rated Exploited. Like and subscribe to empower the world of Matanui. 1986, the release of Top Gun, one of the biggest films by Tom Cruise. Went many years never seeing the movie, even before I invested in a surround sound system. To this day, I hear many radio stations play Kenny Loggins' Highway to the Danger Zone. Though I must say, I vastly prefer Mighty Wings by Cheap Trick. Heck, even one of my favorite YouTubers who formed Rex Viper did an excellent cover of it, Mighty Wings and Harukens. Although the movie easily influenced Double Dragon, upon viewing for my first time, I had a very different sensation. One that I realized was more impactful than I could comprehend. I watched the film in its entirety, taking in all the details, learning the structure, the characters, their roles, and exactly where it was going to lead. But even its conclusion extended far beyond what I thought would take place. For anyone who's been with me in the beginning, I started this YouTube channel with a Facebook page simply by the name of Star Fox Comics. I posted various content of Star Fox, but my number one goal was always the comic books. My brother brought them home from a second-hand shop. I went through them and discovered the comic books for the first time. Unlike both Legend of Zelda and Super Mario comics, the Star Fox comics were more serious and straightforward. The Star Fox comics were more focused with a slightly darker tone, which proves to be the number one thing that sold me from the beginning. Ashura is the number one reason I got into Star Fox. Come to find out, he also designed various Pokemon cards. But upon watching Top Gun many years later, I finally realized this is where he got his premise. Yes, I am serious. Top Gun influenced Star Fox, probably more so than Thunderbirds, at least in this uncanny format. But that does not bother me. In total, doing 11 comics for the entirety of 1993, it made sense to emulate a film that had released a few years prior. Taking Top Gun's structure, as it was Space Fighter themed, and apply that to the Star Fox comic. I've been waiting since 2020 to make this video for the release of Top Gun Maverick. Now, let us go into detail at how Ashura emulated Top Gun and to create the Star Fox comic. Both Top Gun and Star Fox are about an inherently talented pilot, both with a famous father in the form of Duke Mitchell and James McLeod. Both are famous and well-respected pilots. While Duke Mitchell was killed in action during the Vietnam War, James McLeod mysteriously vanished upon delivering a bomb to the black hole created by Andros. The next consistency both the pub and the boy partake in is joining their respective academies. While Pete Mitchell aims to be the best, much like the legacy of his father, Fox McCloud and his team are recruited from their mercenary position on Papatoon. Let us glide into the next comparative, and easily my favorite. Are you familiar with Charlotte Charlie Blackwood? Yes, she is the love interest within Top Gun. Factually, she's based on a real individual named Christine Fox. What a convenient last name. The civilian contractor and instructor at the Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. Her Star Fox counterpart may be unfamiliar to you, as she's an uncanny character independently developed by Ito. Farrah Phoenix. Long before Crystal's debut, she is the original love interest of Fox McCloud. If you'd like extensive detail on how these two Vulpine are counterparts, Prepare for this upcoming info dump. The English name Fox is associated with handsome or even wild animal. The English name Farah associates with the word beauty. In fact, the surname McLeod has the meaning of son of ugly dog. So Fox McLeod's full name means attractive son of ugly dog. Definitive irony in that lineage. The last two comparatives both refer to biology. While Fox has a large muzzle and short ears, Farrah contrasts with short muzzle and large ears. 
This also plays in to the fact that he is a red fox, the largest of Vulpine, and she a fennec fox, the smallest in the Vulpus subspecies. It is fact that Miss Phoenix is a satellite love interest, no different than Crystal in Star Fox Adventures. I prefer Farah, specifically of her role even outside of the Star Fox team, as the chief test pilot of Cornaria and single mentioned daughter of the spaceship Magnate. Plain and simple that Charlotte and Pete were attracted to the same academy, much like Fox and Farah, respectively. When first reading these comics, I went years not even knowing Top Gun existed. The same year it released, another flight-based movie would have an effect on Ido and even make it into the Star Fox comics. This anime I'm putting into reference is none other than Laputa. Patsu sees a vision of the man guiding his way. The comparative in the Star Fox comic, when Fox and Pharaoh are leading into the black hole, he too sees a vision of his own sire. A strong, influential moment for both heroes. As it remains a deep-rooted mystery within the film, I do appreciate the more conclusive approach that Ashura took in the comic book. Returning to the subject of our Tom Cruise venture, there is an additional cast member who got his start in the same decade. Do you recall Tom Kazansky, aka Iceman? I do guarantee you Smash players will remember Wolf O'Donnell. So, like the Val Kilmer role rival, we too have a comparative in Star Fox. From this focus on Kazansky, let us transition to the Kawasaki GPZ-900R. Like Star Wolf, this aspect is present in the games. Page 1, Act 1 of the comics, and the sharp claw speeder in the game Star Fox Adventures. It is potentially aesthetic alone, but McCloud looks so distinguished on a speeder bike. According to the comics, he learned flight at a young age while still a kit. General Pepper details how James trained his son from an early age, much like how Farrah describes she's been doing it since a kit herself. You'd think the dog and Vixen would have known each other as kits, but I suppose we can assume Farrah did not begin flying in Corneria. Though, another role model figure has existed for Fox since he was a pup. Peppy Hare essentially took him in after the death of James. Plain to see that Pete Mitchell has influence from Viper. Quite fitting that the author played this role into the character created by Shigeru Miyamoto. In fact, the only time we see Duke Mitchell is in a photograph. To an extent, that's true in the beginning of the Star Fox comics, as both Fox and Pete reference multiple times with the same photograph. Another fun, random, and irrelevant fact. Vipers are in fact snakes, while rabbits are not rodents. Perhaps the most iconic visual of Top Gun also made it into a fantastic roller coaster. Benamaru Ido could not resist adapting it himself. The iconic jet inversion. Yeah man, that was absolutely irresistible. In fact, you use it as the first point the main hero and love interest interact. I truly know Ido could not have formed the comic book without emulating Star Fox. He might have had to reference Thunderbirds as Miyamoto did in Inspiration. Internet was barely more than digital storage in 1993. And now I have a reason to love Top Gun for more than just its incredible music. These comics made me into an artist. You moved on to Pokemon cards, and your achievements remain immortalized in my sight. Thank you, Ashura. Top Gun Maverick releases tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we will. Thank you dearly for the initiation into Star Fox. I will forever cherish your incredible art skill. For the pen and ink pages of Nintendo Power, this video is to your dedication. Thank you, Teddy Fanatics. I have not forgotten you, but I wanted to take this time to reflect on Star Fox, something that has influenced me to the same extent as Bionicle. Next week, we make our island return to the lore of LEGO Technic. I am Ropali. Thank you for partaking in Rated Exploited.
forever your fellow gamer.